Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. We are all welcome to this uh, Holy Mass. Today is my birthday. I know many of you. Yay! for wishing me. Many of you wish to the WhatsApp, to the uh, email and directly. I take all of you in my heart here in the house also. From midnight, they are celebrating my birthday. I'm 74. So it's a Thanksgiving Mass, but I offer this for your intention especially. It's a very uh, a day of great joy for me. At the same time, uh, they have much pain on my body, uh, maybe because of the uh, uh, Holy Week and then the week of uh, Divine Mercy. As you know, uh, I take the whole world, the church, and all the pains into my heart and pray. Maybe because of that, uh, many wounds on my hands, you can see that big. Also, my leg, I find hard to move. Uh, and also don't expect please replies for the emails and even watch up. I find it difficult to move the fingers. So uh, don't expect soon the replies. Eh? Please understand me. But be sure that I pray for you. I love you. So we begin the Mass with a good song and uh, rejoice this day. All of you are my children. I consider you as my children. It's a great pleasure, great joy to celebrate this Mass with my children, with much love, affection in my heart. Thank you, Lord, for the 74 years of my life. Thank you especially for my parents who are in heaven now. My brothers, my sisters, my uncles, cousins, the family where I was born and grew up. And now my family is here. And it is in Europe now. The whole world is my family. Yes, Lord, now my family members are attending this holy mass. They are my own. I love them, Lord. Right now, Lord, send your Holy Spirit in our hearts to celebrate this Holy Mass with much love in the heart. We all join our hearts with all the saints in heaven, especially Mary, our mother, Mama. And we join our hearts with our suffering souls in purgatory, especially with our near ones died from our family. And we join our heart with all the Catholics all over the world. 
Father, send your Holy Spirit to the heart that we might celebrate this Mass with the love in the heart. Now for you, God, now for one another. The big Mass, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, love of God the Father, communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And and with your spirit. Spirit. Yes, uh, just thinking, you know, 74 years ago when I was born, it was a Holy Thursday, a Monday Thursday. As you must have read in my biography, uh, I had a boil on my head. The midwives said to my mama, this boy might become a priest. But my mother kept that in the heart, never told me that when I was small or when I was in the school. She didn't want to influence me for my priesthood. I think that's the reason she did not tell anything about it to me. I came to know about it only later. Yes, perhaps the Lord wanted me to be born on Holy Thursday because she wanted me to be a priest for him. That's what I learned from that. For my name, you know, uh, I inherited the name of my own father. In our culture, the first boy gets the name of the grandmother on the father's side. Second boy gets the name from the uh, grandmother on the mother's side. Third one gets the name of the father. We got three are boys. Yes, we happen to be three boys. And I got father's name. My father's name was in our language, Chaco. You know, like a Jacob, Jacob, or a Jack, or Santiago in Spain, different names in different languages. But Papa didn't want to give me that name, Chaco. He wanted to anglicize that name. So he consulted with uh, his uh, uh, brother-in-law. Uh, he was uh, teaching in the college, in the university, at my mother's sister, mother's brother. And he said that anglicized name for Chaco is James. So in my village or in the neighborhood, nobody had that name, James, as the first one. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So they found it difficult to call me. They were calling Yamas. Like in Germany, some people call me Yamas. Uh, in Malayalam, so they found it difficult to call James. Especially old people were finding it difficult to bend the uh, tongue and say James. So they were calling Yamas, James, uh, like that. So, and then, of course, now in my village, there are many people with my name after me. Also in my family, there are many with uh, that name. So I'm just uh, telling the history. I was thinking of all this and thanking God. Now I ask you pardon if I offended you in any way. In my dealings with you, I ask pardon to Gabi, Richie, Janine, and children. Also, all those who are participating in this retreat, if I offended you in any way, forgive me. Also, I ask you pardon for those who are absent also, perhaps many were offended by cooperating with me, working with me in, in different countries. Perhaps I know some people are no more coming with me for organization of retreat. Some went away from me in every country. Now in spirit, I ask them pardon. Pray for me that I may be a holy person in front of God. I often accuse you of your throwback sins. Pray that uh, I may be found worthy for the kingdom of God one day. Now let's close our eyes, look into our hearts and ask God's pardon for all our sins, small and big, present and past. Also let's take the sins of our brothers, sisters, parents, grandparents, everyone in our family. Also everyone in our church, the family of God. Lord, we have sinned. Ask you pardon, Lord. We are suffering the consequence of our sin. We are going away from you. I will not offend you, Lord. When we look at the suffering today, it's nothing compared to the offense we gave you. Forgive us, Lord. Personally, I acknowledge that I offended you much, Lord. Forgive me, Lord. Forgive me, my brothers and sisters. Lord, give a new heart. A new mind to offer this mass worthily. <coughs> Change my heart. Ah, oh. Thank you, child. Change my 
Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to the Father. Of your grace, 
give English to the peoples who believe in you. Look with favor on those who have chosen and clothed with the blessed immortality and remorn to the sacrament of baptism. May, uh, or may they all be under the mantle of Mary, our mother, as we are on the eve of divine mercy to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The rulers, elders, and scribes were astonished at the assurance shown by Peter and John, considering they were uneducated laymen, and they recognized them as associates of Jesus. But when they saw the man who had been cured standing by their side, they could find no answer. So they ordered them to stand outside while the Sanhedrin had a private discussion. What are we going to do with these men? They asked. It is obvious to everybody in Jerusalem that a miracle has been worked through them in public, and we cannot deny it. But to stop the whole thing spreading any further among the people, let us caution them never to speak to anyone in this name again. So they called them in and gave them a warning on no account to make statements or to teach in the name of Jesus. But Peter and John retorted, You must judge whether in God's eyes it is right to listen to you and not to God. We cannot promise to stop proclaiming what we have seen and heard. The court repeated the warnings and then released them. They could not think of any way to punish them, since all the people were giving glory to God for what had happened. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his love has no end. The Lord is my strength and my song. He, ha he was my savior. There are shouts of joy and victory in the tents of the just. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord's right hand has triumphed. His right hand raised me up. I shall not die. I shall live and recount his deeds. I was punished. I was punished by the Lord, but not doomed to die. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Open to me the gates of holiness. I will enter and give thanks. This is the Lord's own gate, where the just may enter. I will thank you, for you have given answer, and you are my Savior. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Alleluia, Alleluia. This day was made by the Lord. We rejoice and are glad. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Friends, my heart and my lips, that in my worthy proclaim your gospel, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Gospel according to Shane Mark. Lord. Having risen in the morning on the first day of the week, Jesus appeared first to Mary of Magdala, from whom he had cast out seven devils. She then went to those who had been his companions, who were mounting and in tears, and told them, and they did not believe her when they heard her say that he was alive and that she had seen him. After this, she showed himself under another form to two of them as they were on their way into the countryside. These went back and told the others, who did not believe them either. Lastly, he showed himself to the eleven themselves while they were at table. He reproached them for their incredibility and obstinacy because they had refused to believe those who had seen him after he had risen. And he said to them, go out to the whole world and proclaim the good news to all creation. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. This, the first reading we heard again, the boldness of Peter and John. 
you know, uh, spectacular thing, a healing happened, which nobody could deny. And they knew it was, there was intervention of God's grace. Uh, only by God's grace, the cripple could be uh, walking uh, instantaneously. So they could not deny that. And they knew the news would go, many would believe in Jesus, and Christianity would grow naturally. So the Senate dream had a spread meeting. What to do now? We cannot deny it. Uh, so they thought to tell these people, for John and uh, Peter and the other disciples, keep quiet about Jesus. Don't say the name of Jesus, because it is the name of Jesus that this man got healed. So the problem maker is Jesus. Uh, and uh, uh, the problem is the name of Jesus. So strictly tell them, don't use that name. Uh, you see the power of the name. And then they told Peter and John, please stop speaking the name of Jesus. Uh, and they know what they said, no? Uh, ask yourself before God in your conscience, should we obey God or you? Hallelujah. Uh, you are so, ask you yourself, get yourself before God in the eyes of God, which is right, and to obey God or man. And says, what we have seen, heard, and touched, we cannot but speak. Hallelujah. Yes, yes that is something great, no? And we cannot. No, you, nobody can stop. So, boldly, this fisherman, illiterate people, uh, speaking uh, before Senate Dream. Senate Dream, you must know, it's a, a, what you call a Senate or the government. Mm -hmm. It was the power to execute these people, you know that. It's not just a, a small council, not a Buddha master and a few people, no. Uh, it's a top authority, like a Supreme Court, we can say. Senate Dream is a Supreme Court, the final judgment. And they were so daring and standing. And in the second reading, we heard, Go and proclaim the good news, the Lord told. But again, Jesus was accusing them like your faith. Although many times Jesus appeared, they were not believing. If you look at the early church, we can see they were confirmed in faith at Pentecost only, when the Holy Spirit came. Hallelujah. Till that time, they were wavering. That's why some went to fishing, some for their old work, etc., etc. So without the Holy Spirit, we cannot have the faith. That's why in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, 3, we read, without the Holy Spirit, you cannot say that Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So uh, they had not received the Holy Spirit. So although they heard with their intellect, they witnessed the miracle, they were unable to proclaim uh, that Jesus is Lord with the conviction. So that's why we have to pray for ourselves uh, that we may have the Holy Spirit to proclaim Jesus as Lord. Also, the world may have that. This is what is lacking in our church today. Because the lack of Holy Spirit, people are not bold enough to proclaim. Now itself, look, in many countries, uh, coronavirus is under control. And uh, slowly, shops are uh, started opening, uh, supermarket, and the economy started growing now. People started working. Nothing about church and prayer or mass. No, even the authorities in the church, the bishops or priests, don't have the condition. I know many priests are happy and no need of saying holy mass. So saying staying alone. Uh, so they find a holy day. Yeah, I know, especially in Europe. Europe Sunday, because the priests say two mass, Monday no mass. Hallelujah. I know the culture in Europe. I'm not blaming all, at least I know. Monday in the parish is no mass. The reason Sunday, two mass, they're tired. Uh, so now all are at home, so easy, no mass. So here in Europe, we need actually the Holy Spirit to come as a boom on the hearts of the priests and bishops and everybody, so that the church may be moved. That's why, my dear German-speaking people, I have printed out uh, what you call a consecration prayer for tomorrow. Another country shall be not dare to do in Poland, of course, they have their own. If I do it, I think that the bishop may not be happy. And France have already done a consecration space, so they have consecrated. Then I thought in Germany alone, and I had the freedom to do that. I know nobody will criticize me. And so I made a prayer of consecration for these three countries. That is, uh, many people, many of you received a copy of it. And people from other countries like Croatia or from Poland, other countries, you can do a consecration of your country to the Lord tomorrow. I check here precisely to Jesus' heart, to Jesus the Lord. Hallelujah, through Mary, no, directly to Mary. Here, I'm not against Mary, you must know, I love her more than anyone of you. But you must know, 
be very, very clearly saying the saying of Jesus. I consecrate myself so that all those who believe in me may be consecrated through me. John 17, 19. Hallelujah. The highest consecration is consecration to the heart of Jesus, to the life of Jesus. Mary is there praying for us. She is the greatest intercessor. She's our mother. I know, you know, everybody uh, sometimes she will say she's full of grace. You know the grace she had. It's the grace given by Jesus. It's anticipated grace of the death and resurrection of Jesus given by the Father. Yeah, before that took place. So it is not her own. We have no grace by ourselves. No. Or the grace that I have or Janine or Richie or Chicky or anybody having is the grace from God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the grace of any saint, so Mary, is received from God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But Jesus is grace itself. Hallelujah. Amen. That's the difference. Uh, you must know the difference between a creator and creature. This is what I'm telling. Mary is a creature. The highest creature is. Uh, whom God loved so much and selected her uh, to be the mother of God. Hallelujah. Amen. We give all this respect and honor. Uh, I'm not diminishing anything, taking anything away from my mother. No, no. She's my mama. Always you know. I call her mama. And that's all true. But Mama is created by God. And her grace is given by God. But just when we look at he is the creator. Hallelujah. And the grace in him is great itself. So always our consecration, first consecration must be to Jesus the Lord. Hallelujah. So I say, uh, consecrate your country. Uh, uh, maybe Germany, Austria, or Switzerland, or uh, Seychelles, or or uh, any of the country in which you live, uh, with the rulers of the government and with all the priests in the mind, consecrate to the heart of Jesus tomorrow. Tomorrow is a Sunday of mercy, divine mercy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We must say it's a very important day. This day is the Lord is showering uh, God's mercy upon us. I know why I have much pain. Uh, don't think I am not knowing about it. I know it. Because I am carrying the problems of the world to the Lord and praying a lot. Not only the secular problems, spiritual problems in the church. And I suffer with the Jesus, I know. That's why he's giving these wounds and pains. Sometimes I'm human, I find difficult. I, I'm with the flesh and blood. So I sometimes cry. I find helpless. But I know the meaning of it. Uh, why this week the Lord has not taken this away? Because this week the Lord is showering mercy upon individuals. I know my own children who are around me now. Also, those who are in the world, who are praying for me, loving me, supporting me, so many. And also those who attended my retreat in different places. And also on the whole church and the world. And uh, only God's mercy can liberate us from the present problem. Not only Corona. Many other problems are there, my children. So we need God's mercy. And now, uh, that's why I have requested with a small letter. You know, the, during these days, I wrote a love letter to the Croatians, a love letter to the French, but as many of you have read it, uh, it was translated in their own languages because they requested. Many people from France asked me, can you write a consoling letter? So I wrote, also from Croatia. And that was also being circulated. It's an expression of my love. And the German-speaking people I'm with you and I'm celebrating mass, many of them contact, there is no longer writing a special letter. Hallelujah. Yes, I myself read the letter. And you are writing emails and also you are sending a WhatsApp message. All these are there. So, uh, you know, I began my ministry in Europe first in Augsburg, Germany. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In 98. It is with the German speaking people. Mm -hmm. I began my ministry in Europe. And then only I spread it to other European countries. So you should know that my special relation to Germans, you must understand uh, how. Uh, uh, so uh, about 200 retreats are preached in these three countries. Uh, retreats and one day programs, other programs. So many people know me, many people are actually in contact with me. So what I say, my children, in all these countries, uh, you have to continue this consecration every day. This is my opinion, my desire, till Pentecost. And I see the problems will be solved by Pentecost. Uh, that is uh, 31st of uh, May. So let's continue this consecration every day and praying to the Holy Spirit. 
I, I know that in the world, I heard in America, in India, and many places that are preparing Pentecost in a big scale. Many of them asked me to give some messages for them too, uh, to celebrate it. So I am, you know, uh, one of the first charismatics of India. Uh, I began preaching retreats in India in 75. So they all are asking me for messages. So I say my children, uh, pray, maybe together in the family. We cannot go to church. So in the family, pray together and consecrate your country. If you are a German, uh, offer your country with the rulers and with the priests, with the hierarchy, church to the Lord. Also, if you are a Croatian, do the whole Croatia to the Lord like that. Through the intercession of Mary, through the heart of Mary. Hallelujah. They are always through Mary to Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, and not the other way. You must understand. Some people think Mary is greater than Jesus because of mother of God. Hallelujah. <laughs> and you must, uh, people sometimes uh, uh, don't understand how she is called the mother of God. Uh, so think that, oh, she is the mother of the Holy Trinity. No. Uh, she is the mother of the incarnate son, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So sometimes the theology goes, goes, goes to the extent like the Bavarians who say Trinity is a four. Uh, Father, Son, Holy Spirit and Mary. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is what the Protestants used to uh, tell about the Bavarians. Uh, uh, for the Bavarians, uh, Trinity means uh, four, not three. Mm -hmm. So much important, sometimes high. No, we should know who Mary is, a humble uh, woman who lived in virginity. With the full of grace, she from God. She never respected all these kind of what they call clapping, honor, and all these things. Even now, she is in a humble position, taking you all and me to the heart of Jesus and praying. She is taking the church to the heart of Jesus and praying. Please understand this. Give all importance credit to Jesus the Lord. You know, she knew that her son is God. So, which mother uh, would like to grab the glory which is due to the son uh, who is God? I'm sure no mother would do that. My, I'm sure. Uh, but we are in the Catholic Church sometimes doing that. The glory that is uh, due to God, we give to a saint or to Mother Mary. We should not do that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, so, no mother would like the honor, credit that should go to the son uh, to come to the uh, mother. No mother on earth would think that. Then what about Mary, our mother, uh, who is full of grace? She wants her, her son to be honored. Obey. That's why the Cana and Galilee said, do what my son says. Hallelujah. That is Marian devotion. Loving Mother Mary, today speaking. Uh, uh, to love Jesus, follow Jesus is Marian devotion. Hallelujah. That's what the mother wants. The mother wants that we be Love Jesus and follow Jesus and be good, authentic Catholic Christian. That's what Mary is praying for. So understand. So my small advice, my children, is as we are evangelizing our countries, do it in these times. We are not able to go out and preach. We don't know when we will be able to conduct a retreat in German side or foreign side. We don't know how long. Uh, perhaps slowly they may allow five people together, ten people together, and then fifty people together. We don't know how many, when uh, five hundred people would be able to gather together. We don't know how the country is going to ease the, uh, mm -hmm. uh, the things. So let's wait, but this time in the heart, let's consecrate our countries and people and evangelize with a prayer. Under some penance, maybe some mortification or some kind of fasting uh, offered to the Lord. And that's let's pray that all our countries where we live or where we are born and born uh, be consecrated to the Lord. Let's bring all our prayers and petitions to the Lord. As we know, tomorrow is a very important day, day of uh, divine mercy. And let's pray more tonight if you like and pray for God's mercy upon all kinds of people, especially and nine days you had novena, you heard different kinds of people, people, sinners, hardened sinners, good people, children. Also, nine categories of people who were immersing in the heart of Jesus. Let's continue doing that. And tomorrow, let's celebrate the big feast of the divine mercy. As you know, last three years or last two years, I was in Rome you know, on this day. 
uh, because uh, three years ago, Pope Francis made me a missionary of mercy, then it was repeated last year. This year also it was fixed. Uh, we had an invitation uh, to go there on the Sunday. Uh, the invitation came, we were communicating to each other after three or four weeks, again from Rome, they wrote, indefinitely postponed. Uh, I was thinking maybe why the organizers decided not to have it. If they had fish, it would not have taken place. Hallelujah. And so divine providence, here we see. Uh, even my nephew from India was writing, I'll be also coming, please, uh, uh, I'll stay with you in the same hotel where you stay and so on. By the time we got the news from Rome, uh, let us say that it is postponed indefinite. Now it is indefinite. Hallelujah. Uh, they shall have been in Rome now. Uh, so thank God, praise God, God has his own way. Let's pray for our intentions. Lord, I thank you. Praise you for all those who wish to me. Happy birthday today. There are many Lord, from every country where I preach. People call, send letters, emails, and WhatsApp. My handy is full of WhatsApp, which I not even know. I show all the names. I wrote down the names. Um, names are here in the paper, Lord. I bring them all before you. Bless them, Lord. Bless their families. From last midnight, Gabby, Richie, Jenny, children were around me to wish me and to pray with me. Thank you for all your love, Lord Jesus. It's because you love us. It is you allow these people sharing with me. I'm a poor sinner. I'm a weak man. But they all love me because of you, Lord. I bring them all to you that you may bless them in abundance with your richest blessings. We pray to you, O oh Lord. Lord, I pray. Lord, I pray for our child that you may continue blessing him and protecting him and that you may um, soothe in his pains that he has and you may not let him suffer so much in the future. I pray to you, O oh Lord. Lord, I pray. Lord, I pray for the Jews for the reason what it is to me, Lord. <clears throat> you know exactly how he's feeling, you know exactly all his pains and sufferings, Lord. Take them away from him, take away from him all his pains all the neuropathic pains, that he will be able to recover and he will come to this healthy to the Lord. Lord, Lord. Lord. Lord Jesus, we pray, Lord, for the healing of Father James. As well also, Lord, that you may strengthen him, Lord, and keep him young, Lord, that you may strengthen his muscles, his nerves, Lord Jesus, that you may keep his understanding clean and keen, his memory strong, Lord, that he may be able to have a fruitful ministry for many years to come, Lord Jesus. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, 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 I pray for everything that's going on right now. There's the corona here right now. That, that it may go away and that it may leave this planet, that it may go to a different planet and be where it has to be. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. I pray for my siblings, Lord. There are five of them, and three brothers and two sisters, Lord. Joy by the name Matthew, Josh, and the upper chain Ephraim, and their family, Lord. Also, my two sisters, Tangama and Lucy, and their children, their family, their husbands. Lord Jesus, my father and mother in heaven, there on earth. Bless them, Lord. I grew up with them. Childhood memories come. How. Father died when we were small. How mama brought us up like a hen with the chickens. And how we grew up with her care and love. Above all, trusting in you. Bless my brothers and sisters and their families. And all my cousins, uncles, all in the maniacal family. And the big family, Kirake Talim. We pray to you, O oh Lord. Lord, Lord yeah. Yeah. Lord, I pray for, for the priest who baptized me, the bishop who confirmed me, and the priest who heard my first confession, gave me first communion. And Lord Jesus, they are very important in my life. None of them are alive. The bishop who baptized me, perhaps maybe a saint after a few years, solely on the process of canonization, I know. I pray for him, Lord. Lord Jesus, I pray for the bishop who ordained me uh, next Thursday 
the anniversary of my ordination. God bless all those people, priests, who helped me to be what I am in my spiritual life. And also many priests and nuns, teachers who helped me to grow intellectually, teachers in the school, in the universities. Bless them all. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, Lord. Lord, I pray for us so that you may bless him, that you may sanctify him in soul and body, Lord, that you may um, increase his uh, knowledge in the spirit, Lord, that you may um, guide him through all his pains, through all his sufferings, Lord, that you may give him true eternal life. We pray to you, Lord. Lord, 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 pray. Pray. Lord I pray for all those people who are seeking your love, your um, or generally want to be um, cared for, Lord. I pray that you may grant them um, your love and show them that um, you are the way, the truth, and the life. God, hear our prayer. Lord, 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 Lord. Lord, I thank you for Acha and for the for his ministry, and that so, so many people could come to you through his preaching and through his works. I pray that you may not let this fade away through the crisis that we are going through right now and that and that you may keep his ministry alive for, for years to come. I pray to you, Lord. Lord, Lord, I pray. Lord, I was reading the book of Tobit. And Tobit wanted a girl for his son, Tobias. The Lord sent an angel to us a guide. It was Raphael. But they did not know it was Raphael, a young man. Like that, Lord, in my life, Lord, we never had re rejections, loneliness, nobody to help for my family or congregation or friends. They always send an angel. That's what I showed last night when I was praying. Now my angel is Gabby and Richie and Jenny and all these are my angels. But throughout all my life, they should send angels in the form of man or woman. I thank you for all of them. I ask you to bless them, Lord. I would not have lived these many years if they were not there. So many times the doctor's verdict to us there, I was dead. But I not that I died. Desperately, when they fell ill with a nebious elaboration through, how many times even in this house I was about to breathe the last. Uh, Dr. Richie is sitting near me with a monitor and the pulse going up to 100, 200, 205 moments of death. But Lord, you had your plan. And you saved me through many doctors, many nurses, many other people who helped me. Also to the prayers, holy marshals, money, various ways that helped me and my mission. Lord Jesus, what I have missed because of them all to you, Lord. I have nothing on my own. Jesus, I offer this Mass. Ask you to bless them and their families. Lord, I pray. For a moment, crossing the eyes, let's offer ourselves all our intentions, Lord Jesus. I lift up to you, this family and all the families that are known to me. My own family, Lord. Manyakal family, Karaketarum family, to which I belong physically, but the family of God to which I belong spiritually in Europe, Africa, and in Asian, all Asian countries, Lord Jesus, and American, and also Australia. The whole world is my family. I bring everyone to you, especially those with whom I have contact. Shared love in one form or another and their intentions. Now I pray that you wipe away Corona as this my child pray, so that people may be safe. Lord, give all spiritual, physical, material blessings. God the Father, hear our prayer. Hear the story, Son. Holy Spirit, hear our prayer. My she on your people, Lord. Let's thank God, God for creation to you, the ones we have to learn to offer, which are thus good. Oh. Here, working in this place. 
Acceptable to God, your mighty Father. May, May the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. Help both with the both health of mind and body through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And I'm with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord of God. It, it is right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. At all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time of our war, to praise you. More gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life restored to us in Jesus Christ. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifice of all to fulfillment in the reality of the cross. And by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with the Paschal joy, every land, every people, exult in your praise. And even the heavenly powers, with the angelic host, sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Oh, 
Lord, you are holy indeed. The fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Holy Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate this Holy Eucharist. On the night he was betrayed, and willingly entered into this passion, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Hallelujah. <laughs> Jesus and Lord is alive. He lives, he lives, he lives, he lives. Jesus and Lord is alive. In a similar way, when Sapa was entered, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks. He gave to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Oh, come, let us shadow him. Oh, come, let us shadow Lord Jesus, we give ourselves to your presence, Lord. You are our God, you are our Lord, you are our Master, you are healer, you are the Lord. You are answer to all our problems. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for coming and with us, Lord. Jesus, you are alive. Yes, we proclaim it, Lord. We are charged to go out and proclaim that you are the Holy Spirit. You are alive. Jesus, we love you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Lord, with all those who are participating in the mass. We love you, Lord Jesus. With the entire church, we love you, Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus, you are the center of our life. You are the Lord of our life. Hallelujah. The mystery of our faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you are held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that by taking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity together with the Francis of Hope, Reinhard Bishop, all the bishops, priests, religious, and the people of God. 
Remember my parents, my mother and father especially, and all my ancestors in my family, and all those who passed away from my family who helped me in my growth. Remember also all my brothers and sisters with whom I lived in my life, the brothers and sisters in spirit who worked with me, who attended my retreat, and have gone before us, marked with the sign of faith. And all those who died in your mercy, especially those who died recently with the coronavirus or any other virus, and also our ancestors in the families. Lord, in your mercy, forgive their sins, wash them in your blood, and enable them to see you face to face. Have mercy on us all, Lord, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, her husband Joseph, with the Blessed Apostles, as Christian James, and all the saints, martyrs, as Christian Francis, he says, John Paul II, John XXIII, Father Pio Faustina, and Maximilian Colby, and Martin de Porres, Rosh of Lima, Chavara, Curia, Kosha, Saint Alphonse. Then Teresa of Child Jesus, Teresa of Avila, and John of the Cross, and Charbel, and Margaret Mary Aracock, and Maria Goretti, and Saint Bede, Saint Benedict, and Saint Delosius, and Saint Agnes, and all the patron saints of different countries. And our own patron saints are done your will throughout the ages. Let me praise and worship you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let's join our hearts with the entire church, church, as believe with those who are right now in this Mass. Lord, I join my heart with all those who are participating right now in this Mass and with all my spiritual children all over the world. And my friends, my relatives, my own brothers, physical brothers, sisters, and all in my family, and all those who are praying for me, loving me, helping me, and today especially wish me with all Jesus, I lift the heart, mind, and call God Father. Our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and free which our trials. I say for thee those who should pass against us. I need a small temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin. Protect us from all anxiety and new anxieties. Worries. And all the problems of today, especially the problem of Corona virus and other viruses, diseases, and all kinds of anxiety about the future, about financial problem, work, loss of work, and unemployment, and people who are pregnant, expecting children, they worry about their safe delivery and the health of the children, and the parents with the worries of their own children and their education, school, lot of things, Lord Jesus. All this we bring before you, Lord Jesus, along with the priest who are praying now, bishops who are praying, so that we may all wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you shut your apostles, I give you peace. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Grant her peace and unity according to your will who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. So my children, peace to all of you. 
And again I said, Rejoice, 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 and again I said, Rejoice. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. I bless you, Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. With the faith in your love and mercy, we eat your body and drink your blood. Let it not bring us condemnation, but help your mind and body. This is Jesus Christ, the risen Lord, the Lamb that takes away our sins and the sins of the whole world. Blessed are those who are invited to be supper. No, I am not, not worthy that you should enter the room, but only say, say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Closing the eyes, open the heart. Let's believe in the real presence of Jesus in the Holy Eucharist. Desire for Him, thirst for Him, invite Him and receive Him with the faith. Lord Jesus, right now, come into the heart, into the life of everyone who attend this Mass. Whether you come in the form of bread or wine, or spiritually, come equally with your full power and giving all the blessings you have brought to this world by your death and resurrection. Blessings of inner freedom, inner healing, and liberation from the power of evil, healing of the body, and spiritual material blessings for them and their families and their life in the society. If everything right now come. Come, Lord Jesus, into my heart, into my heart, come into my heart, Lord Jesus, come in today, come in to stay. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Into my life, into my life. Come into my life, Lord Jesus. Thank you for having come into our life. You are the Lord of our life. You are the master of our life. We love you with all our heart. Thank you now. You are feeding us. You are the Lord of our life. You gave us life. You breathe your spirit and give us life. And my marriage food. Thank you for the breath that you breathe into my marriage food. And gave me that. You are done saying for all this much, you know. Thank you, Lord, now. Thank you for all the holy masters we have with these people, this much, children. You know my life is fragile. I'm old. I'm 74. Lord Jesus, I said you with gratitude to you, Lord. I send my full life to you, Lord. Now with you, I would like to sing a song in my language. 
I've never seen any of my dad's song on this stage. Say he can know. I'm gonna say he can know. I love you. I love you. Shadow on the Who am me? Jesus is depicted in the Song of Song as Flower of Shadow. One day I'll come and see you face to face. But now I'm gonna come. You can just listen and repeat with me. Some of you already know that song I used to sing in some of the repeats. Say it to you, in the say it to you. Say it to you, in the say it to you. Shadow on it, Rosa Puba, in it to me. Shadow on it, Rosa Puba, in it to me. Or on a Dashikunyan. <laughs> You are mine, I am yours. Me and the Sundam, Yan in the Sundam, Me and the Sundam. Nyanin de Sundam Sharonile Rosa Pura Neni Juli Sharonile Rosa Pura Neni Juli Orunali Mugam Deshi Chunyan Orunali Mugam Deshi Chunyan Lord, thank you. We belong to you. I belong to you. I am yours. You are mine. Thank you for this experience of the Holy Mass. Once again, Lord, thank you for these, my children, who are celebrating this Mass around your table, the table of the Lord. Many times they were with me in the retreats. And very precious. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for my brothers and sisters, my blood relatives. Thank you for the priest of the MSFS congregation, especially Kairi Bellen, to which I belong. All the priests who wish to me today. And Kairi Marian sisters, I founded. Thank you for those sisters who wished and prayed for me. And also many MSFS priests in Europe called me Lord. Thank you for all of them. I don't mention their name. They are in my heart. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Right now I pray that you bless everyone. Keep them holy. Keep them in your heart. Protect them all evil. All of you who have been baptized in Christ Jesus have put on Christ. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Look with kindness and love upon your people, Lord. And grant, we pray, that those who were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries of your body and death may attain in their flesh, in their life, the incorruptible glory of the resurrection. 
and on this earth they may live a life according to your holy will, protected from all evil, dangers, actions, and sicknesses through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. And may Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let's go in the peace and joy of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thanks, Thanks to the God. God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hail Mary. For the Lord Christ, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now and in our Father's name. Mary, help of Christians. Pray for us. Michael, the Archangel. In the mission battle, we are protection against the malice and snares of the devil. May God of you, him, be humbly pray, and do thou prince of the heavenly world. By the power of God, and to the hand of Satan, and all your friends. Oh, one to the world for the I like to sing a song to Mary, our mama. Salve Regina, Madre Misericordia, Vita Lucello, Estes Nostra Salve, Ante Clamamus, Echule Spiri Ebe, watching us on uh, Facebook and YouTube to um, pray together um, for Father James together with us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord Jesus. We praise you, Lord Jesus, for everything that Father James has done in our lives, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for the foundation of thousands of families, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for the evangelization of millions and millions of people. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for hundreds and thousands of hours that you have preached that he has uh, celebrated the Holy Mass and proclaimed you the good news, Lord Jesus, giving you glory, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for all the conversions that have come from his ministry, Lord Jesus, for the decades. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Right now, Lord Jesus, in gratitude, we pray, Lord Jesus, we thank you, Almighty Father, for taking from him all the pains of the Gilan Bari, for taking from him the paralysis, for taking from, uh, from him the weakness of the nerves. Right now, Lord Jesus, let your healing power flow from him, Lord Jesus, and manifest, Lord Jesus, the healing grace and the mercy that you, Lord, brought upon him, Lord Jesus, from the cross, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Anoint his tongue, anoint his brain, anoint his heart, anoint his, his, uh, his body, anoint his thinking and feeling, Lord Jesus. Renew him completely, Lord Jesus, and make him more and more into your likeness, Lord Jesus. Outwardly and inwardly, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. We now have prayer with the prayers of the angels and saints in heaven, with the prayers of all the priests and Christian people upon the earth and the souls in purgatory. And we pray, Lord Jesus, be your church that you let your blessings flow through him, Jesus. Restore him, Lord Jesus, and empower him, Lord, for many more years of ministry to come. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Jesus, from my heart. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Jesus, from my heart. So thank you for praying for me and participating in my holy mass. Thank you, my children. You're welcome. Thank you, Acha. Tomorrow also we are mass at three after mass. We'll have them have fun our adoration tomorrow because mass is Sunday, where we will pray for each country and the whole world. 
I hope you will be happy. After the Holy Communion, we will expose the Blessed Sacrament and pray for God's mercy. And we will consecrate our countries to the Lord and consecrate our families and ourselves. Okay? So, Amen. praise the Lord. Have a good evening. And uh, have a big celebration of uh, Divine Mercy. Bye-bye. 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 B